now it's time for Rewind, <clears throat> brought to you by our friends over at AMC Theaters. We have movies that were out 10 years ago we're going to talk about, 20 years ago. Natasha, what are some of those movies? Okay, 10 years ago, V for Vendetta starring Natalie Portman and Hugo Weaving. She's the Man starring Amanda Bynes and Channing Tatum. And Thank You for Smoking starring, starring Aaron Eckhart and Katie Holmes. And 20 years ago, Executive Decision starring Kurt Russell and Steven... Steven Seagal, Ed starring Matt LeBlanc, and Too Much starring Antonio Banderas, Melanie Griffith, and Daryl Hannah. Well, it's obvious. You look at this list, and there's only one that stands out, and that's Ed starring Matt LeBlanc. Monkey movie. My goodness, what a bomb that was. Uh, 20 years ago, this guy's doing Friends, and he can only do a monkey movie with Ed. Uh, <laughs> v for Vendetta, man. I think V for Vendetta is one of those movies that the first time you see it, you're okay, and then the more you watch it, the better it becomes. Um, you, it's... It was directed by the Wachowskis. I know that people don't real. Some people don't realize that it's kind of rumored and stuff too. But that movie was directed. Well, was it them and their their guy, their cinematographer Tim Lee? It was directed <laughs> by. He's not having it. Well, he's not, not gonna have it. I'm telling you. Uh, <laughs> and she's the man. I know a lot of people. Kind of that's kind of guilty pleasure for some people too. Thank you. Uh, thank you for smoking. Uh, right. That, that was Reitman's kind of first one out of the gate, wasn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah. yeah. Th that was a, that was a good movie. The 20 years ago. I know Alice is going to rave about executive decisions, so I'll leave that alone. Um, and I have no idea. What too much is but ellis go ahead rave away you, you know what really stands out to me is ed though because i remember <laughs> it coming out and i it's one of those movies to this day my brother and i still make fun of when we're texting each other because like you're right matt leblanc and it's like they saw the first season of friends which was back when ross had that little pet monkey marcel and they're like guys i got an idea what if we take joey from friends and we give him an even bigger monkey and wait that monkey's gonna play shortstop on a softball team good god go yeah. picture Holy God, that sounds bad. I'm sure the movie holds up just as well as Dunstan Checks In does oh my with sitcom star Jason Alexander. Executive Decision, I think, was a really cool action movie that for whatever reason gets a little overlooked when you're talking about the greats from the 90s because you got Kurt Russell, Steven Seagal, two action heavy hitters, and without giving the movie away, I'm just going to say that their plot lines don't necessarily go where you think they might. Schnapp, what sticks out? Uh, definitely not Ed. When I, you guys were talking about that, all I could think of was like, every which way but loose. Remember that yeah. Clint Eastwood <laughs> one with the definitely not that damn orangutan? Yeah. That was the cannonball yeah. run kind we, of we, there was Kids, you're lucky you missed out on all this crap where everyone was like, team them up with an animal. There were a lot of a fucked up animal human <laughs> movies that you don't see anymore. This is one of them. Uh, I just love yeah. Dan G's comment. Ugh. What the hell is Ed? <laughs> yeah, that's right. What is an Ed? Yeah, to, uh, stay far away from it. It's <laughs> nuclear. Here, and it rubs off on you. V for Vendetta is the one for me. I don't care what he says. This guy League helped make it. I know it's a Wachowski sisters. They made it with this guy. Uh, whatever you want to say about it, I think it's great. I was a comic nerd and still am. So I read V for Vendetta, Alan Moore, David Lloyd. I couldn't wait when I heard that the Wachowskis were making it because they had just kicked off um, uh, the, the Matrix. And I was like, wow, they're going to do V for Vendetta or at least produce it. They wrote the screenplay. They were heavily involved in it. I think it's a great adaptation. So, v for yeah. But you're for telling me that, like, if your baseball team, like, if, if it's in the toilet in September and you know you're not making the postseason, like, say the Orioles aren't going to make it, you hire a monkey that can actually throw from shortstop, can throw home, and can throw. That's a great gimmick. You're going to sell out the rest of the season. <laughs> hey, guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.